In one of my previous videos, I asked you all if you would like me to do a little research on color theory and come on here with my findings. A lot of us said yes to that question. So I went ahead to start my research, knowing more about color blending, color theory in general. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my findings with you all. If you'll be interested in knowing all about this concept of putting colors together in a very aesthetically pleasing way, which is guaranteed to give you fabulous results, please make sure you watch this video all the way through. Remember to give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed watching, which I'm sure you would. Subscribe to this channel. We are currently on our way to 100,000 subscribers and I would love you to be one of my first 100,000 subscribers on here. Be sure to share this video with a friend and don't hesitate to drop your questions, thoughts and suggestions down in the comment section. If this is your first time seeing me, hello, my name is Fumibi Olawori. I am a fashion enthusiast based in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I come on here weekly to share videos relating to fashion design, specifically embellishment. I love sparkly things. I love embellished items. And I decided to come on here to create this space where I talk all about this passion with you all. If everything I just mentioned and so many more things that I typically share on here on my channel, feel free to go through the videos I have on my channel. If you find any of those things fabulous, be sure to hit the subscribe button and become a part of us on this channel. This channel, people that subscribe to this channel can attest to the fact that this is a very fabulous space, edifying, positive, encouraging, motivating, and so much more. So be sure to join us. Remember to tap the bell notification so you'll be the first to know every single time I post a new video. Color theory. First of all, to understand the concept of colors, you need to know the classes of colors. And when I say classes of colors, I'm talking about the categories, how to put colors in different categories. For the sake of today's video, we'll be talking about the three major categories of colors. We have the primary colors, the secondary colors, and tertiary colors. Primary colors are the primary set of colors, the colors that are like the foundational base of colors in general. And from our primary school education, from our elementary school education, I believe a lot of us know what we call primary colors. They are three in number, yellow, red, and blue. Those three colors are the colors that we classify as primary colors. Then we move to the secondary colors. Secondary colors are the colors that you get when you mix one or two primary colors together. For example, when you mix yellow and blue together, you get green. Green falls into the category of secondary colors. When you mix yellow and red together, you get orange color. Orange moves to the secondary color category. So many colors fall into the secondary colors category. So feel free, go online, type in your Google search bar and type secondary colors. You will see all the secondary colors that you need to know about. Moving on to the tertiary colors. You get tertiary colors when you mix primary and secondary colors together. So it's just, it's kind of like the educational system. I don't know if that makes sense to those of us that are watching, okay? You move from primary to secondary to tertiary education. So primary colors are the basic colors. Secondary colors are the colors that you get when you mix one or two primary colors together. And tertiary colors are the colors that you get when you mix primary colors with secondary colors. All right, now determining the best color for what type of outfit. First of all, when it comes to choosing colors, in my opinion, I think it's very important to know your undertone, okay? As a person, every one of us have what we call undertones. For me, personally, I have a warm undertone. So most times when I wear things that are warm, colors are classified as warm colors. Colors in the warm category are yellow, orange, red, those types of colors pop on me. If you have a neutral undertone, we have different types of undertones. I should mention that before I jump straight into the colors aspect. We have warm undertones, cool undertones and neutral undertones. You as an individual do a research, just type how do I know my undertone on Google. Google is your friend guys, all right? I won't do all the research for you, all right? So go on Google, try to determine your undertone. That will help you basically know the right colors that will soothe you and your skin tone. If you are a fashion designer, try to meet with your clients, all right? Except they've come to you with a fabric and they're like, okay, this is the fabric I want to work with. You determine what color is this fabric that they brought to me? What are the colors that will go best 
with that fabric but if you are trying to basically customize something for them look at their skin color determine what their undertone is and come up with a bunch of different colors that they can choose from and tell them hey you have a warm undertone why don't you look at this yellow fabric red fabric orange fabric just put a bunch of warm colors in front of them if your customer has a neutral undertone for example put a bunch of neutral colors in front of them and ask them which would be their best bet like their choice okay and then start to determine what colors or embellishments that you can put with that fabric that you have chosen for your customer and just create something fabulous for someone like vicky james when it comes to her custom dresses vicky knows how to put colors together okay in my opinion she's fabulous when it comes to putting colors together and i believe this skill you sharpen this skill with time okay with experience when you've worked with different people different skin tones you've made outfits for different people you kind of know okay this person is light skinned these types of color will pop on her skin color or oh, this person is chocolate these types of colors will pop on them there's also something called color wheel google color wheel i'm going to leave the spelling on the screen it will help you see how colors are categorize when you look at a typical color wheel you see that colors are put in different categories you have the primary colors on one end blending into the secondary blending into the tertiary okay so understanding a color wheel and looking at colors on a color wheel will help you basically come up with blends that will make something beautiful basically i don't know if that makes sense for you okay so typically when you put primary colors in a particular category you look at those colors in comparison with a secondary color and tertiary color and i feel like our eyes generally just has a way of knowing things to put together i don't know if this comes naturally to people but for me in particular when i look at things together i feel like i know how to put colors together if i do so myself okay i i like to choose my own in that department i feel like i know things that basically look nice and I, I know how to tell when something is appealing to the eyes and i feel like Every single one of us have this gift. I might be wrong, okay? So look at a color wheel, study a color wheel, try to do your own research as well. Google color wheel, Google color theory, Google primary, secondary, tertiary colors, and just sharpen that skill, okay? And when you're also making things for yourself, try to put things on your skin. Look, oh, does this thing look nice on me even you in your personal life when you look at yourself that okay when i wear these types of color it looks nice on me when i wear certain types of colors it doesn't really do me justice you basically start to know the kind of things that look nice on you i hope this makes sense if you've been enjoying the video so far please remember to give me a thumbs up okay and we also have what we call pastel colors and pastels just means a lighter shade of a color you can get pastel yellow pastel red pastel green it just means the color is a lighter shade of a particular color so for example i'm going to pull this sweater right here that i have in front of me it's a green sweater when you look at it in general but there are different shades of green on it we have this dark green going on on this sweater we have a lighter shade of green we have another shade of green here and we have another shade of green among these four shades of green that we have on this sweater this right here will pass as a pastel green because it's a very light washed out shade of this green that we have right here they all fall under the color green but they come in different shades okay so typically you as an individual determine oh do i look nicer when i wear darker shades of certain colors or do i look nicer when i wear a lighter shade of certain colors or is it pastels that just look beautiful on me you as an individual determine that for yourself we also have what we call analogous colors i don't really know how to explain it in a way that will make sense to us so i'm just going to leave the name or the word or the phrase right here on the screen google what we call analogous colors it will also just help us to just learn more about putting colors together and in my opinion i don't think there's any color that cannot go together it's just your ability to put it together in a way that is aesthetically pleasing okay for example i saw a dress that vicky made for hilda bassi if you don't know who these people are vicky james is a nigerian fashion designer based in lagos nigeria hilda bassi is a nigerian chef that won the guinness world record for the cookathon last year so hilda bassi wore a yellow and red dress i'm going to put that dress on the screen typically when you think of the color yellow and red put together you feel like mm, that color is is too bright it's too loud it's too this it's too that but i feel like Putting those two colors together, Vicky did a fabulous job with that dress. Look at how the red and the yellow are just blending together in a very beautiful way. And Hilda looked absolutely amazing. Even though I know, I know, this would typically probably not be a color that Hilda would choose to wear. It's because she was doing a campaign for a particular brand. But my point here is that 
as a fashion designer, even if your customer comes to you with the most ridiculous color of fabric, it is your job as a fashion designer. If you are calling yourself a fashion designer, not a tailor, not a dressmaker, it is your job to bring out the most beautiful parts of that fabric that your customer has brought to you. Put things together, particularly accessories, okay? Look at a fabric and determine how do I accessorize this fabric in such a way that my customer is going to look absolutely fabulous no matter what her skin tone is and no matter what the color of the outfit is. And again, this comes with experience. Don't be afraid to test out things on yourself, especially when you're upcoming. When I just started everything that I typically do on here, when I was a dressmaker at some point in my journey, when I was making headpieces for people, I was not afraid to test out stuff on myself. I like to use myself as a lab rat before offering certain services to customers so i would not be able to cover everything relating to color blending color theory and all of that this is just a summary of the little research that i did for you all as requested but do your own digging i've left a lot of information on the screen as we went along in this video i'm also going to drop all of these things that i mentioned in the video in the description bar feel free to just copy and paste them in your search bar and do your own research as well i hope this video has given you a little more insight into colors and you are very excited to start creating, start trying out stuff and coming up with fabulous, fabulous designs. If you enjoyed this short and sweet video, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up. I hope you guys learned something. I honestly do. Also, subscribe to this channel if you're yet to subscribe. Again, I'm on my way to 100,000 subscribers. Woot woot. Thank you guys so much for 75K. We hit 75K sometime last week or earlier this week. I don't remember. Today is Friday. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The Lord bless you immensely. Even as we're coming to the end of the year 2024, I pray that every testimony that is still in 2024 for each and every one of us watching this video would not elude us we would take hold of every promise that God has for us in this year and the year 2025 will be a blessing to each and every one of us I love you guys so much and yeah friends I can't wait to see you all in another video very very soon bye